great. Yeah. Okay. All right. What is Gibson, John Sebastian, Rick Derringer, Eric Clapton, George Harrison all have in common? A guitar that you're going to see for the first time and the only one that's in the United States. And we're going to have it right on Geekazine. Thanks to redtouchmedia.com. Geekazine South by Southwest coverage brought to you by Red Touch Media. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine.com and we have got a special treat for you and this is going to go out to all you musicians, this is going to go out to all you techies as well uh, and, and, and it's just, it's amazing, there's a guitar sitting to the left of me that has a history to it that's amazing and so much to it that it was even deemed, uh, given a name and the name of that guitar is Lucy. Now, some of, you, some of you musicians might have perked up your ears at this point. You might know what I'm talking about, but we're going we're gonna to talk about it. We're going to do that next. We're going to bring John Acarino in here to, to help me with this because there's a long history about it. And, of course, you can read up on it uh, over at, uh, there's a wiki page on it, and there's a couple other history sites on it, on the full Lucy guitar. So do we want to grab the guitar first or do we want to talk about it first? Yeah, uh, why don't we bring it over? We'll bring it over. So here it is. This is called the Lucy, Gibson Lucy. Do you feel empowered by holding it? Yeah, and just, uh, I, I don't work for Gibson. I'm at Red Touch Media. I'm just sponsoring Geekazine, which mm. has uh, been a great treat for us during South by Southwest. But uh, one of our partnerships is uh, we're working with Gibson, working with Geekazine, so this is a great opportunity to kind of bring it all together. And uh, like Jeffrey said, this is, uh, this is a rare treat, this guitar. It was, uh, we'll talk about the history of it, but this is a recreation, and like Jeff said, it's only one of 50. And uh, I will turn it around and bring it up to you, and you can see it is number 23. Number, number 23 on the whole list, and this is the only one in the United States right now. Yeah, so you want to talk about the history real quick, Jeff? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. You're going to hold on to that guitar. Play it a little bit, too, if you want. Do you want to hold it? I'll, I'll, I'll hold it in a minute. So you get, 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 your, uh, get your chi out of it, and then, and then I'll do mine. First of all, it was, uh, like I said, it was only one in the U.S. It started, uh, John Sebastian of the Love and Spoonful bought this, this guitar. It was actually gold, and then that's important here. So uh, John Sebastian, Love and Spoonful. Rick Derringer then got it from him a trade, which is, which is pretty interesting. He played it in the McCoys in 65, and he didn't like the fact that it was gold. So he actually had it sanded down and turned red. And after he had it turned red, he didn't like it. It, it just it didn't work for him, so he it, 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 it never it lost, really played it. Lots lost lost, lost feel. flavor and feel and stuff like that. So he then ended up selling, uh, selling to Dan Armstrong, who had a guitar company or a guitar store music in store in music Manhattan. store in Manhattan, and uh, and so it, it sat on the shelf for a little while. No, uh, two days, and then Eric was Clapton, it two days? Yeah, okay, two, two days. Eric Clapton came in, saw the guitar, loved it, bought it, and this uh, was the guitar that he used uh, for the what he played uh, while my guitar gently weeps, and uh, he did the solo in one take and uh, doesn't remember didn't didn't remember doing it, but. Uh, and, <laughs> Yeah. It's a fantastic it, solo. It's a, he did yeah. it on, on, this, on this guitar. Amazing. And, and uh, that was actually one of the first songs that I actually learned on guitar. Was All right. So, and then, okay. and so then Clapton yeah. gave it to George Harrison as a gift. And George Harrison, if you've seen the, the documentary Let It Be, uh, this is the guitar that George Harrison had in that, in that film. Mm-hmm. And then uh, George Harrison uh, held on to the guitar. No, it was before. And so George Harrison held on to the guitar for the remainder of his life. And the original guitar is now in the possession of uh, his wife, his, mm-hmm. his widow. And uh, what Gibson is doing, because this guitar had such history, they, uh, they took the original guitar uh, from Mrs. Harrison and uh, they put it in an MRI machine. And if you look closely, you can see uh, all the different nicks and stuff in the guitar, or even uh, the way some of the hardware is. 
you see it has like the extra screws and this doesn't look like a brand new guitar no. uh, even even the uh, even the peg peg oh, yeah. uh, thing is is completely missing there this is uh this is an exact uh recreation of uh george harrison's guitar the, the Lucy, and uh, like I said, they put in an MRI machine and recreated it. They only every scratch, every detail is uh, is all exactly the same, and uh, they only made 50 of these. And this is the only one on public view uh, for for right States. now in the United. No, worldwide. Well, uh, world. He said the United States. Well, this is the only one uh, in view in the United States. Okay. And uh, the rest of them are, are locked up for now. It's not even uh, being shown to the public. Most people who work at Gibson haven't even seen this. Really? Guitar. Yeah, that's that's amazing. So, all right, I get to hold it now. Okay. <laughs> it's my turn. So, <laughs> so oh. Oh, I think I just put another. Hi, I now work I at Geekazine. So this this is the guitar. Let's let's do this one more time. We'll, you you'll see it. It's it's fully. It, it's literally the guitar, except you know it's, it's a recreation. But um, there's only going to be 50 of them. So if you want to get one, uh, you better pull out a pocketbook because it's going to be pretty expensive. Uh, Fifteen thousand dollars. I I didn't know if I if we were able to say that, but and of course it's it's tuned up, so we got a nice little tune here. Let's see if I remember this. Uh, look, 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 look in your eyes. Ah, I don't remember. I, f I feel like I'm the presence of musical greatness right now. Can't remember, okay. I can't remember the chords for it, but, but I, uh, I was going to do while well, my guitar gently weeps a little <laughs> bit. So this is, you know, uh, it, it, yeah, it's not the original one, but this is a piece of history. I'm, I'm really happy to be holding this guitar, and uh, it, it's amazing. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about it, but first of all, hey, you know, Red Touch Media, you guys yes. at Red Touch Media. Yeah, no, uh, it was a pleasure sponsoring Geekazine during South by Southwest. Yeah. Uh, it was it was great to, to see you in action and, and do all the interviews. We first met at CES, and, and it was a pleasure to work with you again uh, at South by Southwest. And uh, you've been a, a great help in helping uh, Red Touch Media uh, get our get our messaging out and, and promote what we're doing here at South by Southwest. And <laughs> if you're if you're a musician and you want to learn about how you can put a custom web store. Uh, on your band's website and not have to send uh, fans of yours to iTunes or another retailer. Keep all, just send your fans directly to your website. Red Touch can help you set up an own custom web store and we can even uh, help you with the commission, get you a little bit better commission than, uh, than the other guys. So uh, just go to redtouchmedia slash music and you can see the URL right here on the lower third that Jeff's going to have to add in when he goes to edit this. <laughs> And and playing this guitar, it's making me weep. Well, just don't drop it because it is fifteen thousand dollars, and I think you will weep uh, at that point. Yeah, pretty much. So, break right. it, you buy it. This this is amazing. I like to thank Gibson for letting me do this video, uh, and of course Red Touch Media yeah. and for, for the opportunity here. And uh, if you want to win a Gibson guitar, not this one. <laughs> but uh, if you want to win a Gibson retro Firebird guitar, go to Red Touch Media slash guitar, like it says on the lower third that Jeffrey Powers is going to have to add in when he does post-production. But uh, just go there. Uh, great. Uh, we're giving a few uh, Firebirds away, so special offer to anyone who's, who's uh, listening to my voice right now. And also, on the entire month of March, we, uh, we have a special deal. Uh, go to Red Touch Media slash magazine like it says in the lower third. And uh, we have a special 20% discount on, uh, for all Geekazine viewers. Jeff, thank you again. Can you shake my hand without dropping the guitar? Definitely, definitely. Thank you very much, John. Thank you guys very much. Check out all the videos. We're still, we're still going. I mean, there's, there, we're not done yet. We've got a lot more South by Southwest coming. So check it out on geekazine.com or the YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Magazine South by Southwest coverage brought to you by Red Touch Media.